Do you like flashing colors, chasing laser pointers and jiggling keys? Are you extremely resistant to change and forgiveness? Do you feel the need to like people not based on their personality, but just because they like the same thing as you do? Do you have too much spare time on your hands along with no job or useful education? Then you my good friend is perfect for what's called a YT PVM, also known as a YouTube poop music video. You may ask, what is a YTPVM? Well, I just fucking told you dumbass, what a stupid fucking question. You may proceed to ask, how do I become a successful one that everyone will love? Just follow these easy steps and soon you will become the best YTPVMer of them all. Step number one, conformity. Stop thinking for yourself, because why would you think for yourself when you can just let other people like the needle drop and the mysterious Mr. Enter, dictate what you like. Why be different from all these other mighty PVMers? Being unique and creative isn't gonna help you anywhere in life. Second step, change your sexuality completely. If you previously found real women attractive, then you need to first and foremost start masturbating to skeletons. Large elephant dicks! Goats, Japanese cartoon women with penises and horses. After you've amassed enough of the previously mentioned pornography, crop out one of their faces and use it as your YouTube avatar to more easily identify with other YTPVMers. Step number 3. Resist changes in life. It is very important that your lack of a job, education and good taste in entertainment continues throughout your life to harness more creative energy for creating YTPVMs. Same goes with trying out new styles. Once you've properly copied your favorite YTPVMer style and taken it as your own, it means you should never find your own, because again, thinking for yourself is not allowed in the world of YTPVM. Step number 4. Hold grudges against people. There is no good reason why that one guy who griefed you on your favorite My Little Pony War themed Gary's Mod roleplaying server should be forgiven. Nor is there any reason why you should ever forget what he has done to you, even if he moves on with his life and doesn't even remember who you are or what he did. You don't have to move on. It is the right thing to keep the fire stirred and contemplate any form of passive aggressive attacks on him, his friends, or his work any way possible, no matter how many years go by. Right, I'm just gonna drop a real story here for a second, just ignore all the bullshit this video has been up until this point, and I'm gonna tell you a little story. Like back in <clears throat> back in 2011, I would make fun of people like bronies or whatever on like YouTube comments and shit. And the reason I'm telling you this is because apparently that's when I pissed off some fucking random ass white PVM kid, and he was like real pissed off at me at that. Like so pissed off at me that he did a, like to this day he's still like mad about it somehow, and I don't I don't get it. But like basically he uh, he, um, I think it like at some point he would like do more than just leave some gay ass comments or whatever, but he would actually take one of my uh, YouTube thumbnails that uh, I made uh, a while ago, and I would put it on his friend's Twitter to sort of make fun of it and in essence give me a lot of free views that I didn't know I would get just out of fucking nowhere just because he was like real mad at me I mean I'm not pulling this entire thing out of my ass he actually fucking did this type of thing and, and I really don't know why like for six years or however long it's been now he would be mad at me like one guy mad at me for that fucking long <laughs> and then just bring his fucking friends into it as well, like, that is just incomprehensibly amounts of retarded and butthurt. And I really don't get it, but uh, just so you know, these people exist. And they're coming after you, whether you like it or not, I guess. I don't fucking know, I'm not your... I don't know you. Number 6. Ignore that it's a dying medium. So what if only your friends watch what you make? YouTube fame is absolutely not measured in numbers or anything like that, so why does it even matter? Number seven. Do everything ironically. 
This includes making a Fur Affinity account and a Hentai Foundry account and linking it to your YouTube. Because if anyone asks or questions something you did, ironically, then they are automatically wrong in every possible scenario and they are just, in fact, a butthurt hater. Therefore, you tell everyone that everything you do is ironic and then you proceed to take your place on the throne of moral high ground where you belong. Only make whitey PVMs when you want to. Being consistent while putting in effort and creativity is not at all a requirement and therefore can be avoided completely. Besides, if you pitch shift correctly, then you are basically, literally, absolutely just as good as Mutendo. And Waskal. It is just the fact that people don't know that you are literally just as good as them.